Hey there, and happy fall. It's time for Mindset Digital's Fast Focus. I'm Bria Schultz. And I'm Pete Brown, Creative Director at Mindset Digital, and today we're talking video views. Now, Bria, this past spring, we saw news that Facebook was reporting more daily video views than YouTube. And then just last month, we saw news that Snapchat is reporting more daily video views than Facebook. That's right, more than 4 billion views a day. So I'm wondering what's really going on here. Is Snapchat, an app that deletes content once it's been viewed, really going to become the new king of video? Not really, Pete. And that's because each of these platforms defines a view differently. Okay. YouTube has always been a bit vague about what counts as a view. But in general, once a video hits the 30-second mark, it was counted. For Facebook, a view is counted at the 3-second mark. And remember, Facebook rolled out video autoplay in your newsfeed early last year. So that means I can be scrolling through my feed and a video can be autoplaying without sound. And if it does that for three seconds, even if I haven't watched it, Facebook's counting that as a view. That's right. And Snapchat's even more aggressive. For starters, Snapchat videos are limited to just 10 seconds. So they count a view at one second of video played. One second. Right. So a lot of people are wondering if these different definitions make the view count even worthwhile. That's a great question, and I think we're at a point where we can't really measure the success of a video based on the number of views it has. Instead, it seems like the better question for us to ask is, how is my video performing? For example, the view counts for Fast Focus tell me whether or not we've successfully put the video in front of our audience, but it's our retention rate that tells me whether the audience finds the video of any value. And more than 90% of the audience that watches Fast Focus watches it all the way through. 90%. That's awesome. I know, right? Yeah. The bigger takeaway here is to be mindful that this movement towards video as sort of the predominant media type used for communicating on the web and on the mobile web remains very, very strong. Right. Beyond Facebook, Snapchat, and YouTube, apps like Instagram and Vine make creating video easier than ever before. And live streaming apps like Periscope and Meerkat have made real-time video quick and painless. And so as these tools and platforms advance, we also need to evolve how we're defining and measuring success. And it doesn't seem like the good old-fashioned view count alone will cut it any longer. No, it does not. All right, so that's it for this Fast Focus. Thank you to the 90 plus percent of you who've watched it all the way through. Thanks, Priya. We'll be back in a few weeks with another Fast Focus update. Until then, may your days be filled with good times. Good times. Can you say good times? Good times. Good times. All right.